4 to 5 headlines of the day. If one thing is clear, it's this right here. People who live in the triad want to do anything they can to make life easier for those in the western part of our state. Get Outdoors Pedal and Paddle is one of countless stores collecting donations. While we were there, volunteers taped up boxes filled with tuna, pet food, and baby supplies. Once everything's packed up, it will go to the airport and will be flown out west. For one volunteer, the mountain community is close to his heart. I have many friends up there. Um, thankfully, they were all able to evacuate. Uh, I am still waiting to hear back from a couple of people in a mo more remote places uh, of the mountains. Um, and I think all of us kayakers uh, have a sense of connection to the communities uh, where we paddle. As supplies make their way west, a hot meal is on its way too. The owner of Southern Roots in Jamestown plans to feed thousands next week. She's getting a plan in place to set up an outdoor kitchen in places still without power. I know that I am put here by God to feed people whether they can pay for it or not. And I, I just, I know this is what I'm, I'm supposed to do right now. I, I just know it because it's so on my heart. And I know when something is like that, to me, that's God speaking to me to go and serve. And that's what we're going to do. If you plan to send resources to Western North Carolina, remember to coordinate with North Carolina Emergency Management Business Emergency Operations Center. It's crucial for them to keep supply lines open and you don't want to get turned away at any various checkpoint. The state advises people to email logistics. I'll include that email in this web story on WFMYNews2.com.